Hi Russell, so lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Can you please give me your full name and your role? Sure, I'm Russell Kett and I'm currently the chairman of the London office of HVS. I suppose what that means is that I'm an ambassador for the firm, I promote globally, I speak, I write, I give lectures, I, I sell assignments, I handle client liaison and assignments uh, when I can add value to them. But I've always regarded myself as the head gardener in that I help to grow people. Fabulous. And Russell, what, who is the leader that has inspired you the most? So this may not be a name that's uh, known to many people, but some of us within the hotel industry will know the name of Dries Duval who was the head of something called Green Belfield Smith, which I had the privilege to join in 1987. And he was my last boss before I joined HVS in January 1995. And with the benefit of 2020 hindsight, he was a wonderful mentor to me. At the time, I thought I was just learning how to be an excellent hotel consultant, but I learned skills such as going the extra mile, delivering high quality work and achieving total client satisfaction, ensuring work was fun to execute as well as rewarding, and the importance of motivating a team, valuing both your current team and your alumni, and leading from the front, which he did, being not afraid or too senior to roll his sleeves up. And what is the greatest learning in your career so far? So you can have the best brand name in the world. And, you know, being biased, of course, I believe we do at HVS. But success comes down to people, the people you work for and the people you work with. And without good clients and good team members, you can't run a successful hotel consultancy business. And to be successful, you have to make money. You have to deliver high quality services, achieve total client satisfaction on time and foster that philosophy amongst your team members. And good clients become repeat clients and often recommend you to other clients. Good clients pay your fees promptly and enable you to run a profitable business. And alumni can and have become good clients. And what is your greatest success so far? My greatest success so far has been to help develop the HVS name and brand within the UK and Europe for the past 26 or so years, and to have overseen the development of so many talented people, many of whom have gone on to achieve success at a senior level, either within the HVS family or in other organisations, where they continue to be ambassadors for HVS and a credit to themselves. And if you believe in the word, what is your greatest failure? I really feel my biggest failure is to not have spent more time being around while my children were growing up. Happily and fortunately, my wife did a superb job of always being there for them and brought them up almost single handedly. And I'm so very proud of her achievement and of what both my children have become. But if I was to offer advice uh, to anybody, it's particularly while your family is growing, spend as much time as you can with them within reason. And Russell, could you tell me a story about an incident or an event that may have influenced you as a leader or sort of changed you as a professional? I thought long and hard about this, Lauren, um, and I'm going to give you two examples. There are two assignments that stand out as being the ones that at the time I said, well, this is something to tell your grandchildren. So first in the summer of 2007, when we valued the whole of Hilton in less than six weeks, including inspections of every hotel, which really brought HVS together as a global firm, and confirm we had both the methodology and the resources in-house to be able to accomplish this. And my second uh, and perhaps my most memorable assignment was in November 1998, which involved the valuation of Sun City in South Africa. And Sun City, if you know it, consists of 
four hotels, golf courses, casino, an entertainment complex, retail, timeshare, and so forth. And we were hired by a new law, New York law firm uh, that was representing a potential buyer. And the client wanted to meet us while we were still in Johannesburg um, to discuss our findings and understand what our conclusions were. And just before we had beavered away for about four days nonstop to come up with the answers, uh, I got a call from the lawyers saying, um, you do realize you're gonna have to be able to present within a time scale of 15 minutes. And I said to them, I said, you do realize there are four hotels, golf courses, casino, et cetera, et cetera. I said, I can't possibly do it in 15 minutes. And he said, try. In the end, the meeting lasted 90 minutes. Our client was engaged throughout asking really interesting questions and getting truly into the detail of what we had done. And it occurred to me afterwards that we were probably being uh, warned that if he's not interested, he might just get up and walk out after 15 minutes. And so uh, that, that's, that made it even more memorable. I suppose I ought to tell you who the client was because that, that is quite significant. And it was a guy that uh, you may remember called Michael Jackson. And he turns out not to have been the airhead that I had been led to believe all along. A truly professional guy uh, with an approach that was as good as any of the entrepreneurs I've ever met in my career. Um, and the opportunity to not only work with him and have uh, dinner afterwards with him was that he'd invited the whole of the South African cabinet as well. And they all trooped in uh, to this dinner, uh, sadly, um, without Nelson Mandela. Uh, and he would have made it an even more memorable assignment. Absolutely. And Russell, if you could, what advice would you give your 18 year old self now? That's the easiest question that you've asked me, Lauren, and the answer is set yourself clear goals, whether they're professional and personal, uh, and establish action plans to enable you to achieve them. Then review them from time to time and update them as necessary. And I was fortunate in um, my 19th year, uh, as so as a 19 year old, I set my professional goals in my uh, first year uh, at hotel school, um, when I came across uh, a leader of his day. His name was Melvin Green, and he was the Green of Green Belfield Smith that I mentioned earlier. And by then, he was a renowned hotel advisor, speaker, and writer. And he became my role model. And I'm proud to have been able to achieve the goals I set then for myself way back in 1972, uh, and to have achieved everything that I set out to achieve, and then some, uh, in the course of my career. That is fabulous. Thank you so much, Russell.